Hey y'all, so this boomerang I posted on my Instagram of me cutting my, or before I cut my grass. It's right there. Um, so God had me stop mowing to give y'all this message. I don't know who it's for. I don't know what, who needs this, but stop comparing yourself. Stop comparing what you see on social media because what you see on social media is not always a hundred percent true not everybody is transparent and authentic like i try to be um obviously i'm not going to post everything on social media because some stuff is personal but i am as transparent and authentic as i am able to so the boomerang I posted, now it's not gonna let me turn around the camera, but I posted of my yard to right there. And that is where the Lord had me stop. So if I posted an after picture of the exact same thing, you only see what's in the frame. You don't see what's not in the frame, that I'm not completed, that I'm not done. So stop comparing yourself to what you see on social media, all these nice and shiny things, you know, they look happy, but really they're depressed. Really they're drowning in debt. The only reason that they have the items that they have is for show. The enemy comes to steal, kill and destroy, John 10, 10. But God is here to give you life, to give you peace, abundance, joy all of those things and when you compare yourself comparison is the thief of joy of peace and then you get frazzled and you're just like i'm not where i need to be they're doing so much better why don't they ever da -da 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 -da, whatever but in all actuality they're only showing you the good they don't show you the bad and so you have to stop comparing yourself. You have to appreciate where you are right now in this very moment. You might not be where you wanna be, but you're not where you were. I have done a lot of reflection during COVID and a lot of, I have so much gratitude. That was one thing that I started this year was a gratitude journal. Every day I write 10 things that I am grateful for and I have not missed a day yet. So. If you want to be successful, you have to build consistency and it might just start with a small thing. Start with, you know, reading your Bible every day or spending five minutes in your Bible, reading a devotional, devotional every morning or every night, um, listening to worship music when you drive to work or drive to the store instead of listening to this carnal music or a personal development. Um, video you can listen to on YouTube or a sermon, you know, they have little sermon clips here and there. You don't have to watch an hour long sermon, but start somewhere and build from it. It's one step at a time and you can't take the whole staircase at once. It's step by step by step. You have to appreciate the step that you were on and keep building, keep climbing. Yeah, we might feel like we're backsliding or we are going backwards at times but in all actuality the setback is a setup for a stronger comeback it's like a catapult to push you farther ahead than where you were so that's all i have for you um y'all have a blessed day i love y'all